How's it going everyone? In this video, we have some big news on Kenny Omega, an AEW star potentially leaving the company soon, and a whole lot more. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest wrestling news. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamites. So according to a new report from Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, Monday Night Raw drew 1,649,000 viewers with a .54 in the key demo rating, NXT drew 654,000 viewers and a .16 in the key demo rating, and AEW Dynamite drew 779,000 viewers with a 0.27 in the key demo rating. Next up, we have the latest news on Kazuchika Okada's AEW contract. And by the looks of it, the former New Japan Pro Wrestling star signed a very lucrative deal. Because according to a report from Tokyo Sports, following his AEW Dynamite debut, it has been revealed that Kazuchika Okada signed a three-year deal with AEW estimated to be worth 2 billion yen over the contract's duration, which is roughly equivalent to $4 million per year. Next, we have some bad news for Kenny Omega's return to AEW, because according to a new report from Fightful Select, even though Kenny Omega's return was teased on Dynamite this week, as of right now, there is still no set timetable for his AEW comeback. But the good news is that he's doing way better after he was sadly diagnosed with diverticulitis, which has kept him sidelined since December. Moving on to our next story, we have some big news that an AEW star could be leaving the company very soon. Because according to a report from Fightful Select, after joining the company back in 2020, Matt Hardy's AEW contract is set to expire at the end of the month. And although the two sides have recently been in contact regarding his deal, it is unclear whether his current deal will be extended. So now guys, I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today, starting off with the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and Dynamites. And uh, according to Brandon Thurston, Monday Night Raw did see a slight decrease in the ratings uh, this week, drawing 1,649,000 viewers. NXT actually went up with their uh, special roadblock. They drew 654,000 viewers so a good number for them however AEW Dynamite did see a pretty uh uh I wouldn't say significant drop but a pretty noticeable drop uh going down to 779,000 viewers which is down from last week and uh in my opinion I don't think that this is a very good number for them obviously because they just came off of a pay-per-view and they also uh, teased the debut of Okada which ended up happening and also Will Ospreay. So in my opinion guys this is not a good rating for Dynamite but I'm pretty sure with uh, Mercedes Monet who is rumored to debut next week on Dynamite I'm pretty sure that the ratings will go up uh, just to see you know um, see her debut in AEW which will obviously create a lot of fan interest. Next we did talk about Kazuchika Okada's contract with AEW and he did sign a pretty uh, lucrative deal in my opinion as Tokyo Sports did report that uh, following his AEW debut uh, where he uh, aligned himself with Matt and Nick Jackson and it was a pretty uh, good segment in my opinion. Uh, they did reveal, Tokyo Sports uh, revealed, that he signed a three-year deal with AEW and it is estimated to be worth $4 million per year. So a pretty big contract that uh, Kazuchika Okada signed with AEW. So hopefully his uh, signing will create more interest for AEW because obviously uh, AEW is in need of someone that will create you know, interest and will increase the ratings. So hopefully Kazuchika Okada will do that for them uh, because they obviously do need that. The other story that we talked about was kind of an update on Kenny Omega's uh, return to AEW and also an update on his health. 
and uh, sadly, it doesn't look like he will be returning to the company anytime soon because Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select did say that although Kenny Omega's health has improved after he was diagnosed with diverticulitis, he has been sidelined since December. Um, AEW, uh, Matt and Nick Jackson did mention him or did talk about him on Dynamites, although they teased um, him, I guess, potentially returning soon. Fightful Select is saying that he, uh, there is still no timetable for his return, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. But also, uh, I think that obviously Kenny Omega's health is way more important right now than him returning, you know, at 70, uh, 80 percent. I think that he should take all the time that he needs. Uh, hopefully when he returns, he will come back at 100 percent and fans will be very excited to see him back. The next story that we talked about was actually about Matt Hardy's uh, AEW contract actually coming to an end this month. As Fightful Select did say that uh, his contract is set to expire at the end of March. And AEW and Matt Hardy have been in recent uh, conversations regarding his deal. But it remains unclear whether he uh, whether his deal will be extended. And they also said something about Jeff Hardy that... Uh, both Matt and Jeff Hardy, they tried to get their deals uh, pretty much uh, like ending at the same time. However, because Jeff Hardy has been dealing with injuries uh, throughout his uh, his AEW career, uh, they have added time to Jeff Hardy. So if Matt Hardy ends up, uh, you know, not resigning with AEW, he could be leaving the company and Jeff would have to stay uh, for, I'm not sure how long they added on how much time they added onto his contract but i would assume perhaps maybe a year because he he's had he has uh had several injuries that have kept him off of television so it does look like matt hardy could become a free agent at the end of the month and i'm not sure if wwe would be interested in bringing him back although that is a possibility and also uh tna would um in my opinion, might bring him back because of his recent run there, his past run there. And um, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens with Matt Hardy because his contract is set to expire very soon. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we covered today with the ratings for Dynamite, uh, Kazuchika Okada's contract, uh, Matt Hardy potentially leaving the company, leaving AEW soon, and also uh, the update on Kenny Omega and when... Uh, you know, him not being able to make his return to AEW due to his uh, health not being at 100%. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.